Now, at the onset uh, of this rainy season, we experienced some two mortalities of these things that you can see behind me. <laughs> Sheep, right? We brought a male ram that is uh, on high demand. And I can see, don't worry about the movement at the back. That is because there's a male ram around that will be serving the female use that we have. Anywho, as I said, um, at the onset of the rainy season that we've just had, we experienced two mortalities that came in succession with regards to our ship. And um, we had to call the vet. Um, I noticed some, you know, sort of uh, watery, fecal matter uh, in this ship. And, and I didn't know what that was. I actually just assumed it's normal. So after the two success, successive uh, mortalities, we called the vet who came and you know told us that that thing is severe, and we had to take necessary measures to be able to you know ensure that it does not happen. So essentially, that is what has influenced us to do this video, so that at least we can talk about some of the common diseases that sheep, uh, you know, might be infected. So my name is Samuel. Of course, this is Africa Farming. Uh, channel focus on new generation farmers and new entrants in farming who are willing to learn new farming practices so take a second or two to subscribe hit on the notification bell so that YouTube can always notify you whenever we have a new video released and to our subscribers Asante Nisana for always coming back and watching our videos and if you are actually on our channel take some time go through some of the videos that we've shown before those that appear relevant to you and please join the Africa farming family currently we're on a milestone we are trying to achieve a milestone of 10,000 subscribers so be part and parcel of that if you've not yet subscribed to our channel so what are some of these uh, common diseases that sheep may be prone to so we all know that generally sheep are hardy but that does not mean that they are not affected by diseases so that those common diseases that we'll be talking about today and first is what we call parasitic diseases, parasites. At the beginning of every rainfall season, uh, the number of internal parasites kind of multiplies. And this is because it actually provides, you know, it's some sort of breeding ground for parasites, especially on pasture. So whenever they are grazing, they actually consume a lot of these parasites that are on their pasture. And as a result, they multiply in their own system. So what is always recommended is just before you have to know your patterns your rainfall patterns before the beginning of any rainfall pattern ensure that you deworm your sheep so that when they now start eating this new green matter especially if they are shifting from the dry matter during the dry season uh, which was actually long shifting to this chlorophyll green grass uh, will always provide you know fodder for parasitic multiplication this may actually result in your sheep dying. When we are talking about external parasites uh, like ticks, lice, mice and all that, uh, that is also a menace. Remember when we talked about sheep's cub in one of the episodes, you can actually find the link in the description section uh, so that you can know more about sheep's cub, which is actually caused by an external um, uh, parasite, right? So those can actually even lead to death. Secondly, we have what we call pneumonia. Pneumonia is caused by a bacteria that affects sheep. Now, these can actually um, affect sheep of all ages. It does not matter the age, but it can be very, very severe and even lead to, you know, loss of sheep, especially when you're talking about lambs and young, young sheep. So just do take necessary measures, especially in cold seasons, like right now when it's raining and all that. Don't leave your sheep outside for them to be rained on. Just try and, you know, shelter them where they can feel a little bit warm, especially your lambs. Try to find a section for the lambs themselves where they can feel warm and, you know, something habitable because um, pneumonia can actually be severe, just as it is severe to human beings. The, the other common disease in sheep is what we call foot rot. Foot rot is also caused by a bacteria and especially during rainy seasons and all that, you'll find that, you know, the, the hooves of your sheep are actually infected sometimes. So you have to do regular checks. Now, foot rot can actually cause lameness and, you know, pain when they are walking. If you actually detect um, foot rot, make sure you get the remedy for them. Sometimes it might even end up, um, you know, resulting into you doing, 
you know, trimming of the hooves. Now, the fourth common disease that might attack your sheep is uh, what we call enterotoxemia. Entero, enterotoxemia. <laughs> I hope I've, I've pronounced it well. Now, this actually um, is, I, and I, I suspect that this is actually what caused um, the two mortalities that we experienced at the farm. Uh, you will find that your sheep kind of bellows all of a sudden and just, you know, uh, falls down and starts, you know, dying, <laughs> for lack of a better word. You find that it bloats, you know, your, you, the, the, the tummy, the bowel area becomes too bloated and you find that it's too big, right? Those, that could be signs of enterotoxemia, yeah? And it is very, very fatal, by the way. If you don't, it actually kills your sheep in, a, in, a, in just a matter of minutes. So this can actually even be caused, enterotoxemia might actually be as a result of your sheep overeating, overfeeding. <laughs> yeah, who knew that overfeeding could kill? But yes, overfeeding kills sheep. So one of the things that I didn't know here at the farm is that uh, when it rains, we have a lot of pasture. I didn't know that sheep do not know how to control themselves from eating too much. So my sheep kept eating and my guy, my farm guy didn't also know. So he would actually open the sheep pen in the morning, very early in the morning and, you know, bring them back very late in the evening. So my sheep actually overfed and uh, they uh, had those digestive issues. And as a result, um, two of them just died like that because of, you know, the digestive issues. The fifth um, common disease that will attack your sheep is what we call pregnancy toxemia. Now, pregnancy toxemia is as a result of your pregnant ewes not being able to get the you know, required nutrients or nutrition during uh, their pregnancy. And this might actually cause difficulties even during lambing, and it might affect both your ewe and even the lamb that, uh, you know, in case it will lamb it will affect um, your lamb. So just ensure that you give proper nutrition to your pregnant ewes so that you avoid uh, these pregnancy toxins. Lastly, we have what we call mastitis. Now, mastitis is an infection of the mammary gland that could lead actually to um, decrease in production of milk and sometimes even death to the lamb. Uh, these lactating ewes uh, have infected mammary glands that might actually infect the lambs which might cause death to them and also for the use themselves the lactating use it actually causes decrease in milk production so also take precautions especially in terms of hygiene yeah mastitis is mostly because of hygiene make sure that um, you know your sheep are actually in a very hygienic place it is very important for sheep farmers to monitor early signs in your sheep and you know try to see those observable symptoms and signs and be able to address them as early as possible so that it may not get to that point where it is fatal for the sheep so in summary we have these five common diseases parasitic diseases food rot enterotoxemia pregnancy toxemia and mastitis so make sure that you observe the early signs of all these common diseases and that's it for us today i hope you'll join us in the next video if you've not watched some of our videos go back to our channel browse through some of our videos and ensure that you pick those that are relevant to you and of course you've done a lot in terms of sheep farming so if you're a sheep farmer kindly go and check some of our videos you can always connect with us on our social media handles at africa farming k on tiktok twitter and instagram or at africa farming on youtube and facebook and if you also want to, you know, reach us out on WhatsApp, the number is on the description section. Until next time, stay peaceful, stay safe, and always remember to changamka na ukulima. Bye-bye.